Hello and welcome. I am Logan Frank from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Ohio State University. On behalf of my team of computer science and agricultural engineering experts, I will be presenting our applied work of confidence-driven hierarchical classification of cold faded plant stresses. Our motivation for this work lies in the area of plant stress identification, where a stress is an external condition that adversely affects a plant. Plant stresses begin with affecting a single plant, spreading to a localized area, and eventually taking over entire fields. This results in billions of bushels and yield loss, equating to billions of dollars in lost revenue. So how are these plant stresses monitored? Current methods for monitoring plant stresses are unsustainable, typically involving human experts in time. Is it possible that image-based machine learning could aid in detecting these stresses in an effective and timely manner? The naive approach to applying machine learning to this problem would be to argmax select the output softmax scores and consider this as the classification. However, this method of classification has issues as we can only provide specific output labels with no associated confidence and domain knowledge is absent. Such issues inhibit the widespread adoption of machine learning in the agricultural community. With our work, we aim to move away from the forced classification approach into something more confidence driven that could exploit semantic knowledge. Since hierarchies naturally exist within agriculture, we can construct semantic trees for several plant stress classification data sets using domain knowledge by grouping specific stresses into more general categories in a bottom-up fashion. Therefore, we need some approach that can take advantage of our hierarchies and provide a notion of confidence. One such approach that naturally fits the, our requirements is that of hierarchical semantic labeling with adaptive confidence. Thus, we explore this approach. I will briefly provide an example for how this approach works and more details can be found in the paper. The approach begins with an estimation phase. Using a pre-trained base classifier, we first build positive and negative likelihood distributions for all of the nodes in the hierarchy. For example, for all examples with a ground truth label of B, we compute the positive likelihood distribution for B and its ancestors and the negative likelihood distribution for all other nodes. This is then done for all of other ground truth labels in the data set. Priors are either pulled from the training data set, set to equal, or can be tuned by a domain expert given situational knowledge. Finally, we compute the posterior probabilities using Bayes' rule. Next is the inference procedure. Given a confidence threshold of 0.9, we begin with the argmax selected label from a pre-trained base classifier. We first analyze the posterior of this label given its softmax score. Since it is deemed unconfident, the label is generalized upwards and its immediate parent is examined. Since it is still unconfident, the label gets generalized again to the grandparent of B. Once a sufficiently confident label is found, that becomes the output label for the given test input. Now we will talk about our datasets, hierarchies, and results using this hierarchical approach. We employ three datasets. The first is the tomato classes subset of the plant village dataset, with the corn and soybean datasets coming from Ohio State. The datasets have varying numbers of classes, which impacts the size of the semantic trees we created. These semantic trees were created by our agricultural engineering collaborators to determine how the flat labels of the datasets can come together in a meaningful way. This is one organization where the tree is application driven and each node will provide useful information for the management of some stress. Other organizations could also be explored, which we leave as future work. For evaluation, we use metrics that were proposed along with the hierarchical classification approach we employ. Essentially, the metrics examine how well the approach works for predictions that were originally correct and originally incorrect from the base classifier. From the tables, we can see that as confidence increases, Many originally correct, correct predictions are kept as a terminal stress label, varying levels of softening occur, and best of all, many originally incorrect predictions were generalized to a correct label. These trends can be seen across the data sets, and now we will examine a couple cases and their implications. If an example is originally predicted incorrectly and is reformed, we have achieved the best possible outcome as we now have valuable and accurate information for managing a stress moving forward. For a small amount of examples, they can be completely withdrawn to the root node. Whether the prediction was originally correct or incorrect, we are still benefiting from the approach. As the agricultural community often deals with large amounts of uncertainty, it is better to say, I'm not sure, than to make a forced, potentially incorrect prediction. There is an incredibly low tolerance for errors in the agricultural community, as any mistake would be a reason to dismiss an approach to automate automated plant stress management. In summary, we applied a hierarchical approach novel to the area of plant stress identification. This approach addresses many previous issues by being able to output generalized labels, associating each prediction with a confidence guarantee, and enabling different avenues for incorporating domain knowledge. For future work, we aim to experiment with different tree structures and to implement this algorithm on drones for real-time surveillance of crop fields. Thank you, and if you have any questions, please come to my Q&A session.